Hello, I'm Sarah Varela in the WUFT Newsroom for Tuesday, February 23rd. Here's your news in 90. Apple will be filing a formal appeal later this week, lengthening the current dispute between the company and the FBI. The dispute started when the FBI asked Apple to create an easier way for them to unlock the phone of San Bernardino terror suspect Saeed Rizwan Farouk. Apple says that what the FBI is asking could put every iPhone at risk. U.S. Attorney General Loretta Lynch has made it very clear that law enforcement has an obligation to take certain investigative steps. An Uber driver in Northern Virginia was viciously attacked by his passengers over the weekend. The driver says he was punched and cut in the face after he asked the three passengers to stop drinking in his car. One of the passengers even tried to grab the keys from the ignition and then went after him with a bottle. Authorities tracked down the three suspects and took them into custody. U.S. and Brazilian health workers gathered in Brazil to join in on the efforts to combat the Zika virus. Eight teams from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Brazilian Health Ministry are planning to search the Brazilian state of Paraiba for affected families in effort to prevent the spread of the Zika virus. Researchers say data collection could last several weeks depending on how quickly they can track down the affected families. A huge nine-foot sea turtle was rescued off the coast of Jacksonville, Florida on Sunday. The sea turtle was untangled from a crab trap line after two off-duty Jacksonville deputies found him. The rope around the turtle's neck would tighten every time he moved. Officers spotted him two miles offshore and were able to save his life. That's your News 90. Thanks for watching.